What is up, Queen Anne's County High School? It is Monday, October the 24th. I'm Luke, this is Will, and this is Jeremy, and this is your Roll Report. I'm going to send it over to Bob with the weather. Good morning, Queen Anne's County. It is currently 55 degrees outside, and your high for today is going to be 62. As the day progresses, the chances for rain increase, so yeah, back to the desk. Trick or treat bags are available for sale during all lunch shifts Monday the 24th through the 28th. During this fundraiser, you will get the opportunity to pie an administrator in the face, donate money into the container of the person you most want to see pie in the face. At the end of the week, the person that earns the most money will get pied for all to see on the roll report. All proceeds go to help the archery club purchase more bows and arrows for a growing club. The Performing Arts Department will be announcing this year's musical Friday the 28th. Throughout the week, there will be a new hint in the Performing Arts hallway about the musical every day. So any of you, any and all interested, pop down between classes and take a look. Over to lunch. Hey guys, your lunch special today is going to be chicken tenders with a whole grain roll. Your other options include hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chicken patties, sandwiches, salads, subs, pizza, and don't forget about your assorted fruits, vegetables, and low-fat milk on the side. Back to the desk. All right, Queen Anne's County. Noah Toropinski is going to be the one day student of the week. Please come to the front office to collect your t-shirt. A shout out from the guidance department. We've got some colleges visiting. Today is going to be George Washington University at uh, 9 a.m. Chestnut Hill is going to be today as well at 10.30 a.m. Cedar Crest is going to be at 1 p.m. on Wednesday, October 26th. Mount St. Mary's is going to be here Friday at 9 a.m. And the Chesapeake College is also going to be here Friday at 9.15 a.m. All these are going to be in the guidance department. Now over to Luke. What's going on, QA? In sports news, varsity football won 35 to 28. Uh, KJ Smothers with four touchdowns and over 300 yards, alongside Parker Whiteford with 16 tackles. Also, volleyball won against North Carolina 3 to 0. Back to the desk. All right, other sports related news. We have a shout out. Um, Lady Lions lacrosse goalkeeper Maddie George has committed to play D1 lacrosse at University of Delaware. So, huge shout out to her. If you see her in the hallway, say congrats. Um, if you're also an athlete and you commit to a college, feel free to let Com or someone on the Roar Report know. We can give you a shout out. Um, other news on Saturday, the Marching Lions band traveled back to Lake Forest High School for the TOB Region 9 Championships. Um, this was their best performance so far this season with a championship score of 84.6. That gave them second place in Group 1 Open category. Along with that, they earned the award for first place music, first place percussion, second place visual, and second place color guard. In two weeks, they will attend their final competition of the season as they travel up to Hershey, Pennsylvania for the TOB Atlantic Coast Championships. So good luck to them. Um, Science Honor Society members will be available for specific science tutoring and study hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays starting next week. SNHS members stop by Mr. Joffrey's room to sign up for time slots. And that is your Roll Report for today. I'm Luke, this is Will, and this is Jeremy. Have a good day.